I've said it many times, I know. Though it doesn't feel like it, spring officially arrived according to the calendar almost two weeks ago. A cold front with temperatures of negative 12 reminded us that Mother Nature follows her own rhythm. Nonetheless, it is maple syrup season here, and the warmer day temperatures cause the internal pressure of the tree to be greater than the outside. This causes the sap of the tree to flow out. I tried my hand at tapping a huge old sugar maple tree in our forest, and it has taken two weeks to gather enough sap to make about a cup of maple syrup. This traditional practice has definitely given me new appreciation for the process of tapping and preparing maple syrup. Though I'm very eager for the warmer weather to arrive, this prolonged winter has given me extra time to get ahead on tasks that I'd otherwise have to do in the summer months. And I'm very excited to dedicate more time this summer to activities that I enjoy. I acquired several plant, insect, and animal identification books last year, but I never got a chance to browse through them until now. I decided I wanted to paint some of the florals in the book, and I used to stay away from painting flowers because they really intimidated me. But I found that taking the time to look at the individual shapes that make up each flower helped me to break down the process into manageable steps. And like now I find myself just looking out into the, into whatever I'm looking at, whether it's a flower in real life or a landscape, and I think in my head, how would I break this down in order to paint it? If you're interested in some paintings and would like to support my art, please browse through my Etsy shop. The link will be in the description. Thank you.